I am Helmut Scholz, coordinator for the left group in the European Parliament in the Committee for International Trade. Armed conflicts are often about greed. Warlords lead armed gangs with which they gain control over areas with raw materials and mines. You may know the term blood diamonds, but killings are committed also for the robbery of gold, coltan, tungsten or tin. Often a large part of the find is extorted as a protection of money from small-scale mines where children are often forced to labor. The raw materials are turned into cash. The cash is used to buy weapons. More weapons can equip more fighters. Who has more fighters has more power. Who has more power can control a larger area and rob ro more raw materials and gain more wealth. The spiral of war is spinning. This business model can only work because some unscrupulous companies buy the commodities from the warlords. Such firms operate also in Europe. With the new European law, we are now drawing a line for them. We have been able to form a progressive majority in the European Parliament, which, together with many very committed actors from civil society, have succeeded after many years of work. For the first time, companies are legally required to apply due diligence for the supply chains of their raw materials. Enterprises at the beginning of the supply chain, these are smelters and refiners, must prove the origin of their raw materials. This way, the processing companies further downstream can also prove whether they have purchased from clean sources and can ask to be put on a white list managed by the EU Commission. You, as consumers, will be able to take this into consideration in your product selection. If this approach works well in practice, we will be able to extend it to supply chains of further raw materials and products in just a few years.